Hello toy fans and welcome back to day 7 of my 13 days of Halloween. <laughs> yes that's right toy fans we are on day 7 of 13 days of Halloween and I figured why not change things up this time and do a blind bag opening for you guys. What you see here are the Lego minifigure blind bags part of the Halloween series that's currently available at retail. And these are the same blind bags that I'm giving away as part of my 13 days of Halloween contest. What contest you ask? Definitely check the link below this video to learn more about the giveaway I'm running. But as a little bit of a preview here of your winnings, we're going to take a look at a few blind bags from this series and see what we can come up with. Now while I have done a few LEGO blind bags in the past, this series, number 14, is probably the one that I've been the most excited to check out. As you can see looking at the package here, every figure in this line is based on some sort of classic horror monster or just Halloween trope in general. I mean we've got a werewolf, we've got a witch, a skeleton costume, even a fly. I actually really hope I get that one. But uh, I have no idea what I'm getting in these bags here. There's nothing on the back to let you know what you've got. Uh, let's go ahead and get this thing open. You'll definitely want to make sure that you've got a pair of scissors handy when you open up these Lego blind bags. They're pretty tough to tear open with your bare hands. Inside the packaging, we've got an insert, I'm sure. Let's see if we can find it here. Yep, there we go. And let's see if we can take a look at all the current minifigures available in this wave. Well, there's the werewolf we saw and the pirates. Looks like a mad scientist, a witch. Um, a plant guy, or maybe it's a plant that's eaten a man. Um, a fly, looks like some sort of chained ghost. We've got a zombie cheerleader, a girl in a tiger costume. Ooh, a gargoyle, that's pretty cool. Uh, the skeleton costume we saw on the front, uh, it looks like a rock and roll star, uh, Frankenstein's monster. We've got some sort of spider witch, we've got a Bigfoot, a banshee, and then looks like an average Joe who's just been turned into a zombie. Poor guy. Alright, well let's see what we have in the packaging here. Let's go ahead and dump it out. Oh, okay, so we've got the witch. All right, well, let's go ahead and put her together here. Oh, and it looks like she's got one of those skirt pieces. Well, let's do a magic transition here and show you the figure completely assembled. All right, and there's our witch fully assembled, and I must say I'm really surprised to see that she came with a cat. That was a really nice touch. She, of course, has a broom accessory and some nice detail on the front of the figure. We'll look at that in closer detail here in just a moment, but let's go ahead and get our second blind bag open and see what we've got. All right, this one feels a little bit weird. I'm kind of curious what's in there. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like we've got the Howling Banshee. Now this one, I should be able to assemble pretty easily. Go ahead and stick the head. Oh, she looks so sad. Stick the head on this minifigure and plug on the legs. And it looks like she has a nice set of translucent hair. That's pretty cool. And she just plugs right onto her display base. So there's the second figure. So far, it looks like we've got a duo of dreadful divas. Let's see if this third blind bag can give us a trio of terrifying tarts. And we're gonna cut it open. And oh my goodness, okay, it looks like we've got these zombie cheerleaders. So I did end up with a trio of terrifying ladies here. All right, looking at these horrifying Hildas up close, it seems that we've got some pretty nice paint detail here on the front of the zombie girl. Lots of sort of tattered markings on the clothing. On the witch, we've got some patches, and I like how the buttons have been kind of screen printed there on the front. She's also got fully painted stockings underneath that skirt, which I think is great. Then the Banshee Girl, of course, has a lot of sort of lace work printed on the front of her outfit. And all three of these ladies on the back have a bit of detail going on as well. We've got the soft goods, some more patches on the back of the witch. I like the sculpted detail here for the ghost trail on the back of the Banshee. And the back of the cheerleader is probably the most plain of all of them. If I had to pick my favorite between the three, I'd probably say the witch. I wasn't expecting that at all, and she seems to be the most bang for your buck here with the cat and the broom and the whole getup that she has on. I'd probably pick the Banshee second and the cheerleader third. But let me know in the comments below, guys, which one is your favorite? And thanks for watching this unbagging in my seventh day of the 13 days of Halloween. Be sure to be watching all of my videos in this year's Halloween series, and don't miss out on your chance to win some pretty cool prizes. Thanks for watching, and I'll scream at you tomorrow. <laughs>